Welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Vivian Wogo. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back. And if you're seeing me for the first time, this is the place to be. So a background story about what is going on is that I have not been able to make um I have not been able to upload this video for a while. I shot this video very early january and that was when i was getting ready for 2023 but due to some things that has been going on with my laptop and work i've not been able to edit the video so i know it's not too late because it's never too late for us to start so here i'm trying to show you guys that i got a vision board and i decided to just do an unboxing first before we actually start the vlog properly where i will explain to you guys exactly what is inside and how i intend to use it if you did not do a vision board for yourself before the beginning of the year it's not too late to actually do one for yourself now i hope this video helps you and inspires you to create one for yourself and make sure you watch to the end because it is an interesting vlog i'm going to be uploading more vlogs like this because there are a lot of them I had, I have in my laptop that I've not been able to upload for you guys and I'm dishing them out now. Hey guys, so you all know I got um, a vision board box, like a vision board kit. So I'm going to try to create my vision board now and um, I'll take you guys with me <laughs> so it, please do follow or subscribe because we're going to hit all these goals this year 2023 hopefully fingers crossed by God's grace <laughs> so here is my board here is my board Here it says vision cloud. So this is my vision cloud. It's more like storing uh, my vision in the cloud. You know, the way cloud works with computer and all that. So it's like a storage kind of. So yeah, here's my vision cloud. And at the back, it, stay, it says, please stick self please stick self adhesive velcro here. So this is basically where you attach the uh, adhesives before you put it on the wall. The adhesives are these, these things, right? So when we are done creating the vision board, then we will use this to stick to it. My mind is already telling me, what if you don't achieve them? Well, let's keep an open mind. But the main thing is that the more we see our vision, the more we are likely to work towards it, isn't it? So I'm going to explore the box and see what I need to get started with first. I have shown you guys like I've opened I've unboxed this box before and shown you guys what and what is inside if we have this monthly vision goal it's more like where you can write your, what your monthly vision is hmm would I rate my progress last how would I rate my progress last month yeah I'm going to be using this but I'm I, I'm trying not to overwhelm myself so I will use this when I get a little bit more comfortable with the vision board. First of all, let me actually get comfortable with the vision, like seeing it constantly first. Then we can work on this actual card because this will help you reveal last month and then tell you what to do next month. And it can be overwhelming. <laughs> Truth be told, it can be overwhelming. So I'm going to leave that by the side for now. This one is a congratulations kind of check. It's like a future check to yourself to tell yourself congratulations that you 
you achieved the things that you plan you planned to achieve so i'm not going to open it yet i'm not going to use it now uh maybe when i feel more comfortable i'll give myself the check for my future self future vivian all right so here here is a note that says a flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it it just blooms nice quote like this is something that i have been craving for the longest time this year previously i used to create a vision board and i also planned to create a vision board this year which i did but it wasn't in an in an attractive way for me because i didn't have like what the thing the other things i needed like pictures i couldn't i didn't see, i didn't know where to you know guys you you guys know i'm new in uk so i didn't know where to go and print all those pictures and all that and i didn't know where to get a board to put on my um to create my vision board with so i kind of created it in my phone and um and that has been it then i've been hoping to get a kit like this to help me actually put them to fruition so now this one comes with a whole lot of instructions so i'm going to also ask let's say i have not created one for this year even though i have what and what i need to create but i'm going to follow the instructions here and then create this one and then have it where i can always see see them because the more i see them the more i know what i want to do and you know it's like it's life it's what you want that comes to you but you have to visualize it before it actually materializes and that's how faith works let's get started <laughs> so i have just finished activity one uh some of the questions <laughs> some of the questions are what am i grateful for what are my biggest strengths what is my biggest fear have i ever set myself set a have i set myself a goal or created a vision board did i hit it yes if yes, think about why you hit it, how did it make you feel, and all those and all those things. So I'm done with this one. I'm going over to activity two. So activity two is supposed to help me have a clear understanding of where I want to be in the future. So I'm going to quickly fill it up and then I'll start with the vision board creation. <laughs> What would make me feel content? So now I am done and we're going to proceed to actually create the vision board. Activity one and two is done. And to be sincere, this has been very, very helpful. I had like I had an idea of what I wanted. I mean, if you give me a vision board, I know what and what to paste. But this actually helped me to understand where I am and actually reflect on the things that I have done to get here. Things that I have done consciously and even subconsciously. So, and then activity two has also helped me to look further into the future because I have an idea of what I want, but sometimes it's just one thing that I want. Sometimes it's just sometimes it's the things I want. But this activity has actually helped me streamline it to like three or four things that I would want in my future. And it's very empowering, you know. So I'm done with this too. And now we're going to go ahead and actually prepare the vision cloud. So let's get started. I'm sick and
I love a lot of these coats. In fact, if you leave me, I might <laughs> select all of them. So I think I'm done with what I want. I don't want the vision board to be overcrowded. I think this is enough for what I want. This is enough for now. So we're going to figure out a way to stick them on the board. yay our vision board is ready like i said i'm not going to show you guys what is on my board but when any of them comes through i'll let you know <laughs> okay but i'm loving it so far and i'm going to keep it let's see what do you guys think i don't think it will work maybe all there will work yeah all there will work so i'm going to climb up <laughs> Or should I keep it a bit closer? Maybe here. What do you guys think? Here. I think this looks better. I think it's better. Because then it, it looks reachable and I can visualize it. It's going to stay. So that's the end of our vision board setup i put it up there so that whenever i wake up i can always see it it is very close to my door and every morning i look at it and i am reminded of how i started the year was when the winter was still very serious i was dealing with a lot ranging from dry hair to dry skin to dry lips i think at this time i had just recently done my chemical peel because i do my chemical peel at home so i had already done it and then my lips was doing anyhow <laughs> you can see my lips are really white here but we were, we we're focusing on the hair so I decided to just wash my hair at least. Let it be that I have my life together in that aspect. <laughs> Guys, washing your hair in winter is not easy. Do you guys will you guys believe me when i say that this hair that i washed here it took me an extra week to actually comb it because it was too tangled the conditioner was not conditioning it didn't do nothing for me so and i think it was majorly because of the weather so it took me one week i actually did not just comb it i had to like individually separate my hair So I got this package from Oriflame. I, uh, my friend persuaded me to register and I did and they sent me my first package. It was a lot. I didn't know I could buy all these things with just uh, the initial deposit. So I thought I should just do an unboxing and show you guys. Uh, some of the products are nice. I used the micellar water and it was really nice you guys keep watching so you see me using it and the, uh, the coconut oil I have used it too and it's really suiting to the scalp the plumbing uh, this plumbing serum same thing in fact all their products are actually very nice apart from the perfume I've not used them before I can't say but the ones I have used I loved especially this Novage it's actually very nice I was gone.
And everything 